If I could just uh, talk a little bit more about uh, reasonable risk or significant risk, and uh, you've, you've indicated you uh, support the, the reasonable risk uh, standard. Uh, how do you define that reasonable risk? What do you see that being? I think if the information that, that's at issue um, is potentially going to be misused, can be misused to harm consumers, I think there ought to be a presumption that there ought to be notification. Um, again, I, I do, um, do want to highlight um, that the uh, agency has done significant work in this arena and our enforcement actions and consent orders that we've entered into, I think, um, can elaborate more fully on the situations that we have found where, um, where action um, was necessary. So, but again, I think there needs to be flexibility. I think reasonableness accomplishes that, and I'm, I would be concerned about uh, changing that standard. So you said the commission's done significant work versus reasonable work. <laughs> we, have, we have great experience in the area of data security. All right, so, so how, would we, uh, how would we vary with significant? If, if, the, if the standard was significant risk, how would you view that different? Than reasonable I think it's, risk. it's, it's, a, it's a, a flexible concept, and I, I don't have any magic words to articulate here today, but I think in, in my mind the, the key um, is how do we best protect consumers, and if that's the aim of the legislation, um, I believe that, that um, we ought to err in favor of protecting consumers, given that we know that the incidence of identity theft um, and data breach, by the way, is, is one significant cause of identity, identity theft continues to be such a significant concern. It is the most, um, we receive the most complaints relating to identity theft um, than any other complaint, and that's been in the last decade. So it remains a very significant concern. So reasonable would be in the eye of the beholder in, in some instances is how we, we define this. No, I believe that you can establish, a, you know, objective standards. The reasonableness is a concept that is, you know, well um, defined in, in many different areas and used in many different areas of law. So I think it's one that, that can be employed um, in a way that I think would address concerns. I think it maintains appropriate flexibility and allows one to balance um, potentially competing interests. You know, and I, I know as we go through the discussion draft and we look at it, there's going to be that discussion between reasonable and significant risk. Uh, you know, uh, of course, as you know, in the, in the practice of law, some, you'll have uh, preponderance of the evidence or in a criminal case beyond a reasonable doubt, but, but also there's clear and convincing. So I think you're going to have that, that tug uh, back and forth between uh, reasonable and significant, wanting to protect the consumers, but also looking at uh, how the businesses will deal with this. So, uh, you know, I appreciate your input uh, on that. Uh, as we as we look at the notification of uh, when you believe FTC should be notified, you believe they should be notified at the same time as law enforcement. Is that what I, you've stated? I do. Yes. Okay. And uh, and what period of time do you think is the the optimum? time for you to get that notification? Um, I, I think I, um, as soon as, as the, the breach takes, takes place, I'm now not remembering if this bill is specific on that point, sure. but, but essentially at the very outset when other law enforcement agencies are notified. When, uh, when we look at that specific time limit, uh, you know, these, these are certainly great concern, as, as, you, as you've stated and as we know. Uh, data breach is, is something that everybody is concerned about and, uh, and with this age that we have. So uh, what, tell, me, tell me why you believe that the FTC should be notified prior to the consumers. As a law enforcement agency, um, I think it's important that the FTC be provided prompt notification so that it can take appropriate action if necessary. Um, in addition, I think that um, waiting for the outcome of a particular company to engage in its own risk assessment um, risks um, a situation where a company may perhaps conclude that notification won't be necessary to consumers. The FTC may have a different view of it, and it provides an additional level of assurance um, and protection for consumers. Well, let, let me uh, end with this quickly. Uh, do you believe that this, uh, this legislation uh, that will address the current and the evolving environment with respect to uh, cloud computing. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Do you, do you think that this, this legislation appropriately addresses the current and evolving environment with respect to cloud computing? Um, I do. I think, I think um, again, cloud computing um, uh, isn't, of course, uh, the wave of the future. 
Um, but the data security measures ought to apply to cloud computing just as it, that they do to other methods of storage. Thank you. With that, I yield.